Another look at our Dakota Magic Casino Skycam Network tonight. You can see some of those raindrops on the lens. We're seeing some rain down to our south, transitioning to a little bit of snow south of the Fergus Falls area out towards St. Cloud. And another area of some flurries, some very light snow up towards the Devil's Lake Basin and to the east of the Minot area. Down to our south, this is part of a much larger system. This is just the northerly edge. This stretches all the way down south of Omaha, Nebraska. Temperatures are supporting mostly rain down in southeastern North Dakota. We're still in the mid and upper 30s, but out into western Minnesota, those temperatures falling into the low 30s, so below freezing. So as that precipitation continues to move to the east into that colder air, it will begin to transition into snow. We're at 36 here in Fargo, 33 in Grand Forks, 31 in Devil's Lake, and 33 in Thief River Falls. So stepping through the rest of your night, we could see maybe a couple of sprinkles here in Fargo, but I think that's the farthest north that will be able to make it. Same thing with Detroit Lakes, maybe a little bit of that mixed precipitation, but the bulk of it will stay down to our south around Hankinson, Fergus Falls, Wadena, down towards Alexandria, where we'll see that possibly accumulating snow around an inch or two. Up along the international border, mostly just expecting a few flurries, a dusting of snow. May not many accumulating flakes on the ground. We clear things up overnight. As we head towards tomorrow morning, we'll start off under a partly to mostly cloudy sky waking up, but we do see a little bit of clearing as we head towards the late morning. But notice the wind. It begins to pick up for our afternoon tomorrow. We'll see those winds around 10 to 20 miles per hour out of the northwest, but skies begin to clear for the second half of our day and the wind really dies down. As for accumulation with the snow tonight, again, just a dusting across that international border, an inch or two, possibly a little bit more out throughout central and eastern Minnesota, north of St. Cloud. Your hour by hour planner in Fargo tomorrow, sunrise at 741. We'll start the day with temperatures in the 20s, only rising into the mid 30s, but I do think we'll see a little bit of sunshine, so that will feel nice for spending some time outside, maybe getting some holiday lights put up. Sunset 446. Temperatures tomorrow will be much cooler again across the north, mostly in those 20s with the warmer air again to the south. I'm thinking mid 30s for areas of Fargo, mid and upper 30s down to the south and maybe stuck in the 20s across the north. Your viewer photo for tonight comes from Joe Hazelton. He sends this from Clearwater County and he calls it winter sky. And just looking at it, it feels cold. You can see a little bit of that ice formation on the water there, but overall just a gorgeous shot. Thank you so much, Joe, for uploading that photo to valleynewslive.com. For the week ahead, still expecting a breezy day on Monday with possibly some gusts around 30 miles per hour. And then we're tracking our next chance of some snow late Monday night into the first half of our Tuesday, mostly throughout the Red River Valley and points off to the east throughout northwestern Minnesota. Temperatures look to stay in the 30s for a few more days. Thanksgiving looking dry with snow mostly up in Canada. So looking A-OK -okay for our Thanksgiving holiday, Katie. Definitely a couple things to keep our eyes on, but Thanksgiving looks good, which I'm looking forward to. Yeah, me too.